welcome back everyone. My name is Eltamore and we're going to be continuing our Let's Play of Wrath of the Righteous where we left off last time. We were in Winter Sun. We're about to head towards the Chieftain's Hut, I guess you would call them. We have a few things to do though before we go up there. We have to talk to Gezmira. A woman with a wealth of long dark hair stands by the statue. Carefully touching the wood, her long fingers slide along the smooth surface, searching for cracks and scratches. As you approach, the woman startles, tosses her head back, and you see her empty eye sockets, or so you see her eye sockets are empty and scabbed over like old scars. Who's there? A stranger? I don't recognize your footsteps. I'm a guest of the Lady of the Sun. She invited me to visit Winter Sun. At the mention of the lady, the blind woman's expression changes. She shrugs her shoulders and dryly responds, a guest of the lady is a most desirable guest in Winter Sun. What do you want from me? There's something strange going on in Winter Sun. Your fellow villagers call me a monster while they themselves converse with demons like it's nothing. Demons within these walls? That's not possible. The Lady of the Sun promised to protect us. Besides, the settlement has old rune stones that start to flicker when demons approach. Even if the monsters had tricked us somehow by disguising themselves, the stones would have warned us about the danger. And my people wouldn't be caught dead chatting to our sworn enemies. Gizmira frowns, as though puzzling something out. I've been looking for missing crusaders and found their bodies at the Shrine of the Lady of the Sun. Bodies at the Shrine? That's very strange. The children of Winter Sun are no enemies of the crusaders, and no one would dare sully the Lady of the Sun's shrine with the blood of allies. Maravok always keeps the shrine adorned with flowers for the lady along with his trophies, slain demons. Help me get to the bottom of what's going on in Winter Sun. The future of your clan might depend on my actions. The woman sighs heavily, clenching and unclenching her fists. I'm taking a huge risk talking to you, stranger. Marvok's anger is terrifying to behold, but I simply need to know what's happening to my clan, so I have to risk it. The woman is silent for a while, gathering her thoughts. Listen, stranger, there's something odd happening in Winter Sun, it's true. The Lady of the Sun promised us protection, and demons truly have never attacked the settlement. But there are visitors that come here from the outside. They come often, and they look like crusaders, merchants from Mendev, scholars from Absalom, or kin of Our Lady from her castle in the clouds. Some of them even live here long term, and every single one of them acts strangely. They talk to us like there's some great joke and we're not in on it. And sometimes there are rougher types who do something wild. I've tried broaching the subject or the topic with people I trust, but they either don't believe me or they're afraid to speak openly. Maravok does not permit doubts about him or the Lady of the Sun or her guests. And there's something else. Grief wells up in the woman's voice. Every few years, someone in the village goes mad. It's usually one of the guards or hunters who goes out on a foray to kill demons. They either start weeping, begging for forgiveness, or they attack their neighbors. The clan doesn't turn its back on its children. That's why these mad people are only put outside the settlement walls. But everyone now believes they're beyond helping. They are mad and angry at the entire world. A secret horror gnaws at the soul of Winter Sun, but I can't see it or find out what it is. And I don't know how to help you solve it, friend. All I can give you is my this piece of advice. Check out rune stones. They should warn us about demons in the vicinity. And if they're not doing that, then there's some evil at work here. If you want answers quickly, go straight to Maravok. He's the only person who has been to the castle in the clouds, and he might even have a key to it hidden somewhere. He knows more than anyone else, but watch yourself. Maravok is a mighty warrior, quick to anger and ruthless, and the limits of the Lady of the Sun's powers are entirely unknown. Thanks, bye. Alright, we're not too interested in her eyes with this particular group, although I will just mention in the lore they were taken out because she kept trying to make a statue of the Lady of the Sun and kept being monstrous, but that's probably because the Lady of the Sun is monstrous, so. This experiment has gone awry. And unfortunately, we're going to have to reload and try that arcana check again. We want to get all the rune stones because why not? What is our arcana check? I think it's pretty high. A success worthy the rune stone is fake. It no it has no power to detect demons. And we have a hundred percent lockpick on this lock. I hope you appreciate this. We'll sell that stuff later, including the garbage shield we just picked up by accident. Knowledge world. Wind uproots a single tree but dies down in a thicket. It stands shoulder to shoulder with your clansmen like trees in a forest. Maybe after this quest we'll level up. That would be nice. There's some peasants up here. 
we missed some loot in these places, but we'll go back and check later. I thought there was a stone up here. Maybe it's down on this side. We're gonna steal all their food. There's a stone. All right, runestone number two. The runestone is a fake. It has no power to detect demons as well. I am helpful, am I not? And there's one more runestone, and I believe it's down this way. Somewhere over here. Just gotta find it. That's the front of the town. I don't think it's here. Maybe it's over here. We'll find it soon enough. Can't hide from us forever. What's I guess maybe it could, but there we go. That's it's right by the gates. A this rune stone is a fake. It has no power to detect demons. None of the stones have any power to detect demons. Well, that's never a good sign. In the middle of a demon-infested wasteland. It also means that they've been tricked. They've been bamboozled. But we'll get to the bottom of that too in a minute. Gesmira, talk to me here. Rune stones... And I think that's pretty much it. Okay. We're going to buff up severely and go talk to the leader. Because that's going to be our next big thing. Oh, there's another standing stone here. And a bunch of skeletons. It went splendid. Rely on your own strength, on your cunning, on your true arrow, on your sharp blade, on the aid of spirits, on the vows of priests. But never rely on Let's divination. Technically wouldn't demon... Sensing be divination. Huh? Oh, there's That's something lost. here. The rune stone was smashed and the piece is carefully hidden. Now we can talk to Gezmira. Uh, no, we missed that with our good group, but that's okay. Didn't know that was up there. The runestones were broken and replaced with fakes. So the demons truly can roam here, and no one even suspected because we had faith in the stone's warning and in the Lady of the Sun's protection. The only thing we can do is go to Maravok and demand the answers. Demand answers. I want to believe that he has been deceived and will act on behalf of his clan when you show him your proof of his, the betrayal. And the destruction of the runestones is a true betrayal of our clan. Thank you. Bunch of experience for that. We're very. I'm just so excited to level. I love leveling up. It's my favorite thing to do. Um, one of our pets is dead. I think we might do a quick rest. There's a relatively big fight coming up. Oh, this is going to get us over the corruption limit, probably. Okay, never mind. We won't rest. I crave for adventure. What are our spells looking like? Ideas. We have some blur spells left. We might be okay for finishing up this area. At least some of it. We do need to heal, though. This level, I think we get greater heroism, which would be super nice to have. Here we got some blurs. We have mage armor on. I guess we can put up shield. We have no uh, mirror images left. That's less than ideal. However, we do have a bit of fun, which is kind of a mirror image. Um... Dream. What other spells do we have before we go Let's shake What's on your mind? racing in there to I die? Hurricane Bow. Only you deserve my obedience. Anything new? Nothing particularly interesting. We'll get uh, displacement and haste when we go inside. Okay, I guess this is as good as it's going to get. It's not ideal, but... 
At least we know that but there's no fight at the end of this place other than this big fight that's coming up right now. The mighty Marvok sits on a dais covered in pelts. In one enormous hand, he's holding a single flower, and his face wears a grim expression. Chief, we brought the traitor. A tall female warrior drags a stumbling woman with empty eye sockets into the hall. We have several witnesses who say she was slandering the Lady of the Sun and her guests, and that she even urged her neighbors to spy on them. Hand me the axe, Marvok's voice is grim. Been very patient with you, Gezmira. You dared dishonor the Lady of the Sun, our happiness and protection. You didn't repent. You only nursed your malice in secret. I see now that taking your eyes was not enough. This time it will be your hands. What are you doing here, you blaggard? Raising your hands against innocence? You've earned the Ancestor's wrath for sure. It's a bad thing to raise your fists against the Clan Elder, but I really want to smack you one. But we're going to be evil and watch in silence. The woman recoils and suddenly brandishes a blade from who knows where. You took my eyes, chief, but not my heart. I won't let you maim me further. Ancestors, embrace me. Marvok's face is blank as he looks at the woman's body, and then he turns his gaze to you. Did you think I didn't see you there, stranger? The Lady of Suns would have revealed you to me, even if you tried to hide under a thousand spells. It's good you came. It saves me from chasing you after you all around Winter Sun. Here in this hall is a place of power for me and my lady. I will kill you here and then go with my people to Dresden and hand it over to its rightful masters. Warriors of Winter Sun, attack! He has so many mirror images. Like a very impressive amount of mirror images. Oh, we're on turn based mode. Okay, let's turn off turn based mode when we can. Okay. So I need you to fight him. I need you and you to shoot that guy. I need you and you to go kill that one, I guess, for now. I need you to come into like the middle of the room to do a prayer spell, and then um, let's get some Mazadas going, I guess. Go. Did something already die? Oh, the ranger already died. That was a very fast kill. Okay, next ranger. Oh, right, Darren's in the middle of the room, like I told him to do, and he didn't cast his spell because I wasn't paying attention. Okay, the... Oh, Reginald died from what? The dragon killed him. The dragon only has a plus 20... Oh, I guess Reginald only has 27 armor class. Okay. Well, Reginald, you kind of... St okay, maybe we just kill the dragon first. We'll shoot him with everything. Including our main character. As long as our main character is interposed between... What's his face and um, the rest of the group? We should be fine. Do we have haste on? We don't have haste on yet. New? Oh yeah, we do. Never mind, we're good. Blah 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 blah. Stupid Regil dying. Damn dragon with the dragoning. Blah blah blah. Watch the sounds. Everyone kill the dragon, I guess. You cast summon. Go. Burn. Um. This guy's gonna handle this, I think. Oh, that's bad. Uh, this is less than ideal. Run away, Nenio. Dragon, how's how are you doing, Dragon? Okay, let's do a quick heal here. Uh, you guys, you are today's kill that thing. You cast prayer, and then we'll do a heal. Get over here and kill this. Nenio, run. There we go. All right, this is going well, I guess. Move up. Heal. Okay, that demon's dead. The rangers are not dead. I kinda wanna kill them. Let's kill the dragon first, I guess. Shoot the dragon. Shoot the dragon. There we go. The dragon is now dead. Everyone on this one. 
Except for you two, in search of that archer. These things are not very hard to kill. Alright, now we're on this main guy. We're taking out all of his mirror images, which he can cast a million of. Uh, you cast a bit of fun. You get up here and heal. Okay, those ones are dead. That one's next. Just finish off this guy. And then we're on Maravok. Everyone on Maravok. And he's got knocked down, so we'll just kill him. And we're done. My lady, don't leave me. Don't leave me. We don't need to chase after him. We still leveled up. Excellent. We will have to look up some builds because I can't remember for the life of me what I was doing with um, some of our characters, honestly. I hope you appreciate this. Let's just grab some spare loot here. All right, let's level up. Uh, Eldori, right. This is the one that I'm not super familiar with, and I had wrote it all down. See if I can find out where I put the Eldori Sword Lord. Okay. All right, there we go. So we get, we're at level 11. What level are we? 12. We're at level 12. So we are taking... A duelist this level, I believe. We're leaving Sword Lord at level 5 for now. What does the higher levels of Eldori Sword Lord give? No attacks of opportunity, defensive parry, which we have with duelists, so that doesn't matter, adaptive tactics. Can lower those. Greater saving slash. It's not the worst thing, confounding defeat. Okay, if we go duelist instead at this level, we get parry, which is fine. And improved reaction, which gives us initiative checks. And then we get enhanced mobility later. And grace is reflex saves, combat reflexes, riposte. Attack of opportunity against any creature we successfully parry as long as the creature is within reach. That's pretty good. Speed's no longer reduced on difficult terrain. That doesn't really matter too much. Dodge bonus for every three levels of duelist. Okay, that's pretty decent. Improved reactions, more initiative stuff. Enemies adjacent to duels to take a withdraw, a provoking, a provoking attack of opportunity anyways, deflect arrows as a monk thing, but it's fine. And then crippling critical. You confirm a critical hit using a lighter one-handed piercing weapon, you apply the damage on the following penalties. 1d4 points of strength or dex damage, negative 4 on all saving throws, negative 4 armor class, or 2d6 points of bleed damage that lasts for 1 minute, except for the ability damage which must be healed normally, and bleed damage which continues until the target receives magical healing or leaves combat. It's pretty good, honestly. Alright, let's uh, start buffing up our duelist stuff. I'm going to take uh, dexterity, of course. And just go ahead and do these. Our knowledge in the world is actually pretty damn good. All things considered. Alright, we're done this level. And do we have to turn on Perry as an ability? For adventure. Perry on self. Yes. Excellent. We have plus 25 to hit, which is pretty good. Camellia is really easy to do, so Hunter. Uh, dexterity, obviously. And then just her normal junk, plus lore nature, I guess. Level 2 spell, we're going to grab Owl's Wisdom, probably, I think, is what we're going to take. Because Owl's Wisdom is super good for raising will saves, and that's kind of important. Although Sense Vitals is also really good, too. She doesn't have any vivisectionist levels, does she? No, I don't think so. So maybe Sense Vitals is a better choice for her. Uh, a level 4 spell. We're going to take... Ooh, 
What are we going to take? Cure Sirius, maybe? Well, we can take, like, Aspect of the Wolf. Plus four bonus to Strength and Dex. Plus two on Trip Attacks. That's not really great for us. We're not really tripping things too much. If it was, like, Aspect of the Hawk or Falcon or something, that'd be good. Animal Growth is plus eight Strength, plus four Con. Negative two decks, which is not good for her. Freedom of movement is a very useful spell. You know what? I think we're going to go with freedom of movement. Anyone? Oh, Darren already has that. Never mind. Screw that then. I guess we'll take Cure... Blessing of the Salamanders, Regeneration, and Fire Resistance. Man, this is a tough one to choose. Does this work on other people? Aspect of the wolf? No, personal. Darn. Shield of Dawn. She's not in call or melee, so she should never have to use that, honestly. If she's using that, she's in serious trouble. Volcanic Storm's not bad, I guess. Could make an AoE build. Slowing, you know what? Slowing mud. Fort negates, but... Uh, might be able to slow down some enemies at times. But she's only, she gets so few skills. Uh, I think I'll just take the extra healing. We need a ton of healing anyways. Oops. Clicked off the screen like an idiot. Windwog. Hopefully it will be easier. Because she's just a cleric. Or an inquisitor, I should say. And then she gets some decks. She gets all her skills. And then she just gets... Oh, a new favorite enemy. Um, Let's take demons of... Strength. Shooting the demons, and we'll take demons of. Wait, this is our, our higher favored one. We'll take demons of strength again. Nelfshnia and Balors are pretty tough. Uh, a line weapon, I think, is going to be her best choice there for bypassing damage reduction. Unless there's something else that's cool. Aid is pretty good too, honestly, but. Uh, it does last a minute per level. We could cast it on a bunch of people. Let's castigate. No. Garbage. Well, it's not garbage, but it's not what we're going to be using. We'll grab aid. Um, and then we'll grab Crusader's Edge, I think. It has Bane against evil outsiders. It's pretty good. Or Chaos. No, definitely not Chaos Hammer. Holy Smite's pretty good. Restoration's excellent. Stone Skin's really good. I'm just going to use up all our sweet, sweet Diamond Dust. Old Monster is good. Divine Power would be good if she's a melee person. That plus one luck bonus on attack rolls and strength checks per every three levels. It adds up really quick. Um, Crusader's Edge. Is this only oh, it's only melee weapons. Never mind. Maybe I will take Stone Skin. Nobody else has a Stone Skin, and it's kind of a useful spell. We get two spells anyways. Stone Skin and Holy Smite. Maybe Holy Smite. Maybe instead we take Chaos Hammer. Or Burst of Glory. Burst of Glory can be really good if you get everyone into sort of a close combat or close quarters. And then we can just Burst of Glory everyone. Scrolls. Intelligence. Bloop, 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 bloop. Spells. Easy enough. Phantasmal Futurification and we'll grab... Um, she's already got Owl's Wisdom, so we're going to grab Health. Oh no, we'll grab Circle. Keep clicking off the screen like an idiot. Oracle. Easy level to do. I believe we're just putting all his points into Charisma, if I'm not mistaken, but I'll quickly pull up his build. I'm, pr I'm almost certain it's just Charisma, because Oracles just need Charisma. Uh, let's see. I have it in my notebook here. And by notebook, I mean Notepad++, plus plus because that's just the way of the world. Oracle, no, nothing else, and we just take uh, Charisma, although we can do one con eventually, but whatever. To give him some extra hit points. And for spells, we'll take... 
There's a bunch of good ones here. So we can take Blade Barrier. Very, very powerful spell if you put it in the right place. Um, it's not even showing us all of our... Well, this is our first level 6 spell. Okay. Um... Undeath to death, eh? Hellfire Ray. Blade Berry is really good. Harm and Heal are both. Actually, Heal is really powerful. Harm is pretty powerful. I think I might take Heal, but we'll uh, get to that in a sec. And where's some other good ones? Spiring Recovery is also pretty good. It's kind of like Breath of Life, but a little bit more. What if we take heal this level, and then we'll take Inspiring Recovery later. Heal does so much. It heals 10 points of damage per cat level. The caster to a maximum of 150. So at level 12, it heals for 120 life. It's super de duper good. Okay. Sure, sure. Regil is just going up his normal path of um, Primalist, although we still haven't respect him because of that one extra fighter thing he had. Although it might not be the worst thing for him to have one extra fighter level. I think we're actually supposed to give him some more fighter levels later, but let's give him his primalist thing. At this level, give him some extra decks and his... Not that one. This one, this one, that one. Actually, we have people that do religion way better. Just do... We have people... It doesn't matter. Either way, there are people who do think his things better than him. Um, we're going to take dodge. And spell. There's really nothing we need here uh, in terms of spells. I guess we could just give him, like, he already has true strike, doesn't he? No, he doesn't. Where's true strike? It doesn't exist. Oh, he already has it. It's just hidden off to the side. Um, I guess magic weapon, it just doesn't really make a difference too much at his level. Or his spells. And we're going to level up our dog, of course. And I believe that we just put the points into strength. We have three intelligence, okay, yeah, then strength. 34 strength now, which is pretty damn good. And our other dog is unfortunately dead for the moment, but we will level up, level it up when we can. It's at negative 162 health. Huh. We have plus 25 to hit. Plus 16, not so good. Plus 20, not bad. Plus 21. He has so many attacks per round. All right. You might be wondering why we're not in a huge rush to chase after the guy. There's no fight to be had, so it doesn't really matter too much. Helpful, am I not? We're just gonna quickly explore this area, make sure we get all the loot. Hmm. This way. There's also this little like ice thing here. But unfortunately, we can't go into the ice thing. It's not a thing that you can adventure in. At least not yet. Or not to my knowledge, anyways. Is there any other treasures in this room? I don't think so. We got that treasure chest, I believe. Yeah, okay. Let's head out the secret passage, which is really not all that secret. It's very obvious there's a giant thing in the way. In games, a giant thing in the way of a wall means there's something hidden behind it. That's just the way of life. Let's go talk to everyone Forwards? involved in this uh, no. Backwards. Backwards. shenanigans situation. The wounded Marvok is shivering as if from a fever. He tries to take the human skull from the plinth in front of the Lady of the Sun statue, but his weakened grip spasms and the skull rolls towards you. Stopping at your feet, the warrior watches it with stricken eyes, muttering key before turning to the statue. My lady, my love, forgive me. I failed you. I lost. Didn't even keep the key safe after you gave it to me. Come protect our winter sun, but if you can't take me away, take me to your castle in the clouds. Marvok's prayer does not go unanswered. A shadow, unnaturally narrow and trembling, separates from the Lady of the Sun statue and floats above the floor. A delicate hand, or maybe claw, reaches out and touches the slumped head of the dying warrior with a soft, almost tender gesture. 
and then you hear an airy otherworldly voice directly in your mind why are you mortals so fond of breaking other people's toys so you're the rot that's festering in winter sun you're a despicable beast and you don't deserve any other name my kinsmen my neighbors have suffered because of you death would be too light a punishment for you scum you don't seem to be afraid at all monster what's to stop me from killing you here and now Marvok's shoulders convulse. He struggles in vain to stand and to shield the insect-like shadow from you. I'll fly off to my sanctum faster than you can blink. Besides, are you ready to doom all of Wintersun to a horrible fate? Asks the sly voice in your head. You probably want to open the poor barbarian's eyes to the truth, but you can't do that without my help. Even if you do, by some miracle, find a way to do it. The children of Wintersun will have to live with the knowledge of what they've done all these years. They'll recall every murdered crusader and traveler that they plunged their spears into or burned on a ritual pyre. Many of them will not survive the truth you will inflict upon them. The rest will be cut down by demons, for I am the only one protecting them from such a fate even now. But I have a better solution. I will change the clan so that from this day forth, they will see true mortals and demons alike as human. I'll make them believe that Crusaders have won a final resounding victory, and that peace now reigns in the world wound, and all demons have been driven back into the abyss. Every last one, Winter Sun will remain a peaceful oasis in the midst of chaos, neutral territory where neither crusaders nor demons will cross swords in battle. I will keep my wondrous domain, and your crusaders will never perish here again. What do you say to that, commander? Why not? Won't hurt the clueless barbarians, and a neutral zone may serve my own ends. The wounded Maravok suddenly wheezes and bites out, My lady, take me, take me to the castle in the clouds. Uh, I knew. A crazed smile warps the warrior's face. I guessed a long time ago that you weren't who you seemed to be, but you brought peace to my people and me and I kept your secret as best I could. I stamped out any suspicions and the people who voiced them, sometimes. I want to live in your light. I don't want to be without you. No matter how much I despise those who serve as sycophants for the demons, there's some twisted beauty in this. This fellow is brave enough to be honest about what he wants. I do not know many people who are capable of that. Sorry, one second. Got... There, there we go. There are probably plenty like him here. People who guessed the truth but said nothing. Opportunists. These people have lived too long under the influence of demons. They should all be isolated, subjected to quick re-education, and those whose loyalty remains suspect should be executed. They have enough blood on their hands to be sentenced to death ten times over. You cannot read the emotions on the creature's horrifying face, half hidden by shadows. If it answers, Maravok, it does it wordlessly, directly into his mind. After a moment of silence, you hear a voice in your head, give him to me. No, he will die here and now. I'm not letting this dude go, screw that. The creature is silent for a time, gazing at the dead warrior. I will remember this, Commander. I'm returning to the Ivory Sanctum, the castle in the clouds as they call it here. You have the key to my home, but will you find out how to use it? I'll be expecting your visit. Jeribeth's shadow disappears into the portal and her departure spells the end of an era for life in Winter Sun. Grab some extra loot, including a cloak resistance plus two. I vaguely remember my other group getting a cloak resistance plus four, but maybe that's because we did the bad thing. That we get a lesser cloak. Not that I particularly care too much. And everyone here is dead, so we can't really even buy things like the other group could. We only have one more technical thing to do, I think, in this area. Other than find out if we've killed all the specters, because we have to kill all the specters. What's in wait for me Six there, specter fights we're supposed to have, apparently. Or maybe seven. Before we talk to the specters. So I'm going to go back out into the world. We're going to quickly look around for any more specters. We'll save before doing this, because we could end up just dying. And when I find the specters, or whatever's left of them, restart the video, we'll do the fight, see if it's the last one, because we've killed a bunch of them already. We've killed at least five that I can remember offhand. Maybe six. I just can't remember if we have or not. But anyways, I'm going to go wander around, and then I'll be right back. All right, so I wanted to jump back in here for a sec. After a long last, we finally killed this stupid tree. It is ludicrously, un like, just annoying to kill on whatever difficulty we're on core difficulty because uh, its spell resistance is so high even a spell penetration we need over 15 to get past spell penetration on a roll and the only thing that really deals a lot of damage to it is fire and a little bit of melee um we finally ended up killing it though our pet is now diseased because we had to bring it into the fight darren and camellia are almost dead but they didn't die and that's the important part there is still two babals left 
but I'm really not all that concerned Press about the them. But holy crap, this fight was the most annoying fight I've ever experienced. It's like my, probably like my 15th attempt. It's because the spell resistance is so high, like we used controlled fire, or not fireballs, uh, scorching rays to deal a bunch of damage to it, and flame strikes with Darren, uh, both of which have greater spell penetration and still need a 15 to overcome the spell resistance. But finally, we killed them all. And the sucky thing is, there's a specter that we have to kill near here too. Over down here. This is why I came back over here. I was like, oh, we have a specter we have to kill. Which is fine. I don't mind killing a specter. Maybe, depending on how tough it is, but... This fight was just ruthless. Anyways, we finally did it. We have Demon Plague on a couple characters now. On three characters at the very least. Uh, we do have some removed disease spells, so we're going to try and take it off, but... And by that I mean we have one removed disease spell. So we're going to try and get it off on uh, Camellia, I guess, for now. And it did not work. I'm always open to ideas. Do we have a removed disease on anybody else? Oh, so waiting's never fun. I crave your commands. I want you back. Uh, Camellia does have some removed diseases. We did save, so if none of these work, maybe we just reload. And do some saves coming. What is the roll we need to do to get this off? 34. Uh, we literally can't. Our modifier is plus 10. DR is 34, so we can't do that. Can we do it with Wendwogs, though? Nope. Modifier plus 10. We literally cannot get rid of this disease at all. And we need three consecutive constitution saves at 18 to get rid of it. It's not actually the worst. Wait, is it con saves or fort saves? Con saves, right? Save DC is constitution based. Well, I wonder if uh, restoration gets rid of it. I don't the think it does. Not ending just yet. And we have no restoration left anyways. So let's heal up. Oh, skip the pleasant Maybe face. we can head back to town and heal it there, possibly. We have no spells left. This is getting to be kind of grim in terms of healing. Rules are made to be broken. Right, let's see if we can get some healing out. He's like a tainted sap, which I guess is different and has worn off. We do have lesser restorations we can use for that. He is nauseated, but I think that wears off too. In 50 seconds. The demon flag is going to be rough, though. We're going to need to find some way to get rid of it. Hoping restoration deals with it, because that'd be kind of nice. Anyone else got... Uh, Stat train at the moment? No. Okay, well. That one's suffering from we just our group is falling apart. That's just where we're at. Me already. Um we're gonna try and kill the uh Spectre. With the I'm like five spells we have remaining. I'm gonna not save over this save just in case this goes really badly and we don't have there's the Spectre. Or in turn-based mode still. Uh, it's just the Spectre, right? So let's just get in there and kill it. Trails, please? What did it just cast? Run, 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 run. Get out of there. It's almost dead. Alright. Yet another Spectre dead. Gotta think that's the last specter, right? There's a stranger here. The absence of an answer is an answer to. It's one of those guys. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go check around if there's any other specters. I thought that was the last one, but I guess it's not. 
which really sucks because I'm kind of hoping. To go oh, there's a knowledge world check here. Let's do this. Success, Wisdom cannot be etched in stone. It can only be carried in the heart. Wherever my legs carry me. So I'm gonna go check around for any more specters, and I'll be right back. So I finally hunted down the last specter. It's actually just right here. We just missed it earlier. It's one of the earlier specters. It just casts sickening vines and then attacks you, so it's not a big deal. Um, and it says to follow him back to here. God, I hope we don't have to fight this guy. We're tapped out of spells. Like, we're really running low on things here. You overpowered me seven times. You are worthy of carrying my whip. I will not trouble you again. And we get 3,600 experience for that. Wow. It's actually a pretty decent chunk of experience. I think we're done here. It's time to leave. We need to get back to Dresden. We have people with serious diseases. We have no spells left, and we are on the verge of getting corruption, which is really bad. Now we lose a bunch of saving throws type stuff, and we lose some intelligence and wisdom, and we have a 15% chance of failing Arcana spell checks, which is actually not that bad because only Nenio uses Arcane spells here, I believe, and Regil, but Regil barely casts spells, so that's not really a big deal. I'm sure we didn't lose, leave anything cool behind. I think we got everything that's neat. Alright, so I'm going to head back to Dresden between videos and try and heal up and get rid of these uh, disease things that are going on. Other than that, I will leave you guys here. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you all next time. And maybe I'll do a little bit of uh, castle management as well. The regment relic will be augmented. That's the voracious jumble. I guess we can do that right now. We can get a club, which is a plus three intermediate relic creation club, or a flail, also intermediate. We'll take the flail. Don't know what either of them does, but I will never ever use a club. Dwarven property, part of the ruin or the fortress wall sustained damage in a demon attack on Dresden. A number of buried golems covered in dwarven ruins were discovered among the collapsed stones. Upon hearing this news, a member of a dwarven clan has contacted his commander and claimed that the golems belong to them. What should be done with the golems? We can get golems, we can keep them for military experience, we can give them to the dwarves for materials. Or ransom the what does that do? We get some shield bearers and finance points. That's garbage. What is the warden golems? Three earth elementals. That's useless. Give them to the dwarves. We could just do that. I'm not keeping. I'll just give them back to the dwarves. Don't care too much about the, those things. Report. Krem Zade's army, army was undone along with his plans to retake Dresden. The arrogant leader of the demonic host did not deign to join Dane to join the fight in person. He took flight, abandoning his soldiers. We still have the Pillar of Skulls going, but we have Swords of Gorum. The young Kelid Morveg told the commander that the ruins of Sarkoris conceal a host of sacred swords of the war god Gorum. The blades turn their masters into bloodthirsty monsters that are practically invincible in battle. The soldiers are ready to hunt for these antiques that will surely be useful during the war, but this would come at cost. The souls and minds of those who dare arm themselves with the Swords of Gorum. Do it anyways. And we are going to do our next... Relic, I guess. We only have one relic. Oh, we have one new relic. Sorry. Um, let's do the Fate of the Faultless, Faultless Daybreak. Do that one. All right. And that's going to be it for now. We have five things on the go. So, like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Take care.